Hey, it's Jesse here, AKA Attractionzilla, and this is the big one. Buckle up your seatbelt, boys, because today we are talking the first eight things that a woman really notices about a man. That hot little beautiful lassie, she notices you from across the room. Well, what are the first things that she's going to notice about you? And more importantly, in what order? And I guarantee you guys, if you get these eight things right, if you get these eight things handled, you're gonna start attracting indicators of interest, IOIs, like crazy. Now you get these eight things right, it doesn't mean that a girl is going to approach you or anything like that, but women will start giving you little glances. They're gonna give you little signals, hoping that you approach them and talk to them, which is still a huge advantage for you. You know, when girls are looking at you, checking you out, it's gonna give you this huge, great confidence boost. And then when you go talk to girls, they're gonna have a big smile on their face. Get these eight things right, and it doesn't matter if you're 20 or 30 years older than the girl. It doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of a pudge around the waist, or if you're not the best looking guy. It does not matter. But get these eight things that women first notice about a man wrong, however, and you can still get with girls, but it's gonna be much more difficult, more of an uphill battle where you're gonna have to compensate a lot more with your game, your charisma, and your swagger. And by the way, factor number eight, that is the special one. That's the one I'm saving for last. And it's really only gonna make sense if you watch the other seven first. So stick around for factor number eight. That's the important one. So with all that being said, let's crack right into it, gentlemen. All right, so what is the very first thing that a woman is going to notice about a man? What is the very first thing that a woman is going to notice about you? Well, let me tell you, it's not your shoes, it's not how tall you are, it's not your hands, it's not even how you're dressed. Women are gonna have different opinions on this, but don't listen to them. What I've personally found after starting conversations with thousands of women over the last 20 years is that the first thing that a woman will notice about a man, the first thing that she's going to look at is his face. The first thing that a woman notices about a man is his face, and more specifically, his facial expression. And this is pure purely instinctual, guys. As a man, you're bigger than a woman. You're taller than a woman. You have more muscle mass than a woman. You have more testosterone. And the first thing that a woman will always, always, always do is read your face. Look at your face to see if you are a possible friend or a possible foe to see if you represent any value to her or if you represent a threat or a danger to run away from, or possibly to see if you are a low value man that she should just ignore. And that's the first thing that a woman is gonna do. Look at your face. That's why when you approach a woman from behind and you tap her shoulder to get her attention, that's one of the worst things you can do. You're gonna startle her, you're gonna freak her out because you never gave her a chance to read your face. And girls really do need to read your face. They need to see your facial expression to see if you're happy, smiling, relaxed, looking playful, or are you serious and scowling? Do you look psychotic? Do you look like you're stressed out and in pain? Do you look angry or mad or butthurt? And if your facial expression is conveying that right mix of emotions, the right kind of smile, the right kind of twinkle in the eye, you can look very attractive to women, very appealing to women, even if you are much older than her or if you're more on the shorter side or you're not the best looking guy. It won't matter if she can read your face and she likes what she sees. By the way, guys, if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Attractionzilla, because every single week I'm bringing you brand new tips on how to date the beautiful girl of your dreams. And if you leave without subscribing, well, you may never find this channel again and then you're gonna miss out. So be sure to subscribe right now. All right, guys, the second thing that a woman is going to first notice about a man are his eyes. And the eyes really are just an extension of the face. She'll read your face overall first for the overall expression, but the very next thing she's gonna be looking at are your eyes. Do your eyes look bright and energetic? Or do your eyes look dim and sickly? Do your eyes look eager and excited? or do your eyes look worn and tired? And I'm in my late 40s myself, I'm racing my way on to 50, and there are specific exercises I like to do for my eyes 
to keep my eyes looking youthful, to keep my eyes looking energetic. And I'm not talking about keeping the wrinkles away. I'm talking about the soul, the soul in my eyes, having my eyes express that vitality and that youth. And women will notice that, gentlemen. Women will look at your eyes and read into what your eyes are expressing to them. Because the eyes do not lie, my friend. The eyes do not lie. If you're feeling sad and beaten down by life, or you're feeling really nervous just talking to a girl, or you feel undeserving to have her, a woman can look into your eyes and your eyes do not lie. She can tell. Fortunately, issues like that can be fixed rather easily. In fact, if you need help with how you come across to women, simply go to attractionzilla.com where you can get in touch with me and I'll help you diagnose the issues you're having and I'll help you get that dating life that you really want. All right, gentlemen, the third thing that women first notice about a man is his smile. Now notice up until now, it's all about your face. That's what women notice first. It's gonna be your eyes, then your smile. Think about it. A woman can tell so much about a man just by looking at his smile. And if you're smiling, it conveys so many positive qualities to the girl. If a woman sees you smiling, first it means you're not in chronic pain because if you were in chronic pain, you probably wouldn't be smiling. If you're smiling, it means you don't have life-threatening health issues. If you're smiling, it means you're probably not hungry or feeling malnourished. If you're smiling, it means that people have treated you pretty well in the past, most likely. It means you probably have status in the environment because men who do not have status, generally they're not gonna feel free enough to be smiling. And smiling means that you are in good mental health. In other words, a smile is pretty damn hard to fake. And if you have serious health issues or serious mental issues, it's just gonna be hard to find that extra energy to be expending on smiling. Now, a woman is also going to notice the quality of your smile. Are your teeth discolored, yellowish, or are they clean and white? White. And if you ate a lot of meat, you're gonna tend to have whiter, cleaner teeth because meat does not contain the sugars that cause tooth decay. Now, most people try to save money on their food budget by buying a bunch of junk food and sugary foods like soda and ice cream and breads and potato chips and all that kind of food. It causes the yellowing of the teeth and tooth decay because it contains a lot of sugar. So if you have white teeth, it's a sign that you ate a very expensive meat-based diet typically. So if you have any problems with your smile, like discolored teeth or crooked teeth, or you're missing a tooth, getting your smile corrected can provide a huge ROI, can provide a huge bang for your buck in terms of becoming a more attractive man. Spending a couple thousand dollars to get your smile corrected can be a way better investment than buying a fancy car or getting a hair transplant. I'm actually often shocked by the number of older men that I've met that they wanna be dating younger women and they buy a fancy car to do it, to impress the girl, but they don't invest in their smile, which is to me completely backwards because a nice smile is always going to trump a fancy car any day of the week. And if done smartly, nice smile can be much cheaper too. The fourth thing that a woman is going to first notice about a man is his height. Yes, guys, after a woman reads your facial expression, after she looks at your face, she looks at your eyes, she looks at your smile, the very next thing a woman is going to notice about you is your height. How tall are you? And there's a very good reason that women notice this in a man. Being a tall man requires a calorically expensive diet. It requires a lot of calories. Being tall, you simply have to eat a lot more just to survive. And when a woman sees a tall man, it means his parents had a lot of food and a lot of resources. It means his grandparents had a lot of food and a lot of resources going back many, many generations. So he's coming from this genetic lineage that was quite successful. Whereas if you're a short man, it means that your taller ancestors, they just didn't survive because there wasn't enough food, there wasn't enough resources to be had. So tall height in a man, that indicates health and it indicates resources. Just like big breasts on a woman popping out of her shirt, that indicates health on her part and having resources. Fortunately, my friend, there is actually a lot you can do to increase your height. And when I'm coaching a guy, that's one of the top priorities I do is I wanna add two or three inches onto his height in various different ways. So not only am I working with you on your facial expressiveness, but also to add the light into your eyes, add the charm into your smile, but also add two or three inches onto your height. 
all to help you become that top 1% man, which is what women really want nowadays. They want that top 1% guy, and as your coach, that's my job to get you there. Now, the next thing that women first notice about a man is how he is dressed. And the reason that I can say this with complete confidence is because when I'm dressed rather casually, like just wearing a t-shirt, sneakers, and jeans, I don't really get any indicators of interest from women. I don't have any women glancing my way trying to sneak a peek at me. It just doesn't happen. And like most men, I'm rather invisible to women. However, here's the thing. When I'm dressed up, when I'm wearing a nice, unique, detailed designer shirt that I dropped a couple hundred bucks on and I'm wearing my best blue jeans and I got a nice, flashy, beautiful watch on my wrist and I'm wearing some nice shoes, all of a sudden, I notice girls start checking me out. And it's when I take my style even one step further and I start accessorizing more, like I start wearing a hat on top of my head and when my hat matches very well with the rest of my outfit, that's when I'll actually start having women coming up to me and starting conversations with me. Yes, my friend, it does happen. When I am dressed my very best, that's when I start to get approached by women and it does happen. So I found it to be very cut and dry, very consistent. When I do this, I know I'm gonna get that reaction. And that's my irrefutable proof that your style is a huge factor in what women first notice about you. The very first thing that women are gonna do is read your face. That's innate female behavior. Then they're gonna notice how tall you are and then they're gonna notice how are you dressed. And I'm telling you guys, if you get all these qualities that I'm talking about dialed in, if you get each and every one of these on point, suddenly when you go talk to girls and you start conversations with them, even beautiful girls that are far younger than yourself, girls are gonna suddenly open up wide, share their contact details and go on dates with you. It's really that simple. All right, the sixth thing that a woman first notices about a man are his shoes. And the reason I'm saying shoes is because when you ask a woman, what do you first notice about a guy? She's gonna tell you what I first notice about a man are his shoes. I look at his shoes. And this is really important because a lot of dudes, even when they start dressing more stylishly, they'll still wear sneakers for that comfort factor. So they're dressed nicely, but the shoes don't match. No guys, no, 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 no. That is gonna be a big mistake. You want your shoes to look on point. You want your shoes to match your outfit and look a 10 out of 10. Because fact is, women are going to look at your shoes and make a snap judgment about you and your personality based on your shoes. Now, if you do have crap sneakers on, you can kind of make up for it, compensate for it by talking to the girl and giving her a little taste of your charisma and your personality. But come on, why make things more hard for yourself than they have to be? Especially when 95% of the men out there are just wearing these casual sneakers, this should be an easy win for you. There's no reason at all why you should not be wearing a nice pair of shoes. And look, if this is the kind of thing you need help with, get in touch with me and we'll turn you into that top 1% man that women really want together. The seventh thing that a woman first notices about a man is his posture. Do you hold yourself up like the champ? Like you are the boss, like you own the world, happy to be alive, full of life and vitality? Or do you hold yourself like the typical guy, hunched over and beaten down by life? Your posture says a lot to women. And champ posture, what that tells women is that you're physically healthy, that you're happy, that other people treat you well, that you're not off doing backbreaking labor somewhere and that you're physically fit. Posture, guys, is one of the first things that women notice. All right, so the eighth thing that a woman is gonna first notice about a man are his hands, his hands. And I know that sounds pretty weird, sounds very weird in fact, but if you think about it, for most of human history, men were either hunters or toiling away in the fields, and most men would have had very rough, beat up hands, showing a lifetime of difficult hard work. And rough hard work and rough hard hands meant you had a rough hard life and a lack of resources and leisure time. Even me personally, myself, I look at women's hands. I myself personally, I always look at a woman's hands. So when women tell me I notice a man's hands, heck, 
I believe them because I notice it too. I'm always looking at a woman's hands. Nice clean hands, nice clean fingernails. It meant you're part of the leisure class. It meant you were part of the upper class. It meant you didn't dig around all day in the dirt planting crops. And a lot of women even kind of have a strange fetish going on for men's hands. And I know that sounds weird, but guys, I'm just delivering to you the facts. Now, if you really want to get a woman's attention and you're over the age of 30, you're going to want to watch this video next. Older men will get a younger woman's attention by doing this. Combine what you learned in this video with this next video and you're going to really start killing it with the ladies so don't miss it.